Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my What Sold videos which will be for last weekend, October 27th through the 29th and my disappointing, uh, no, my disappointment in all of the platforms continues. It's just not what I expected, I'm just going to be honest. Um, so far, this that, this particular weekend, I had one decent day. And when I say decent, I met my daily goal, but it's not fourth quarter. It's not fourth quarter goals. I I expected to be doing better than I am. I am grateful for what I'm getting, but something just seems to be up on all of the platforms. My, you'll see here in a minute. I had one sell on Mercari and one sell on Poshmark for that entire weekend. And of course, Etsy just continues to be abysmal. Um, so it's going to go away in January. But the, the, the other side of that coin, though, is because I'm so disappointed in these platforms, um, the, the Mercari and Poshmark, I haven't been cross-listing to them, which I really, I had made it a goal that I was going to cross-list every single day in November, and it's now the 5th, and I have not, I have not been, and so, you know, it, it's probably all on me. I need to do better. I need to take the time to at least do five or so onto each platform and see if I start seeing an uptick, but, you know, I see in my comments other people are also saying that they're just not seeing the sales that they anticipated for fourth quarter. It is what it is. Keep on keeping on because, you know, like I said, I'm grateful for every sale that we make, um, but it could be better. It really could be better. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. But before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and do my quick commercial. If you don't want to listen to my commercial, just speed on up. Down in the descriptions of my videos, I have lots of links to the different platforms. If you haven't signed up for them, if you use my link, you know, there's benefits for both of us. And I have links to what's called Mavely. And in Mavely, we have links to products that we have used and like um, for Walmart and for Best Buy. If you use our links to go into either of those platforms, you don't have to buy those products. Any shopping that you do on there, I do get a small percentage. Um, I have links to American Bubble Boy, which I truly believe is the best company out there for bubble wrap and tape. They've also expanded into other items, and I, I know there's plans for them to start doing even more of the supplies that we need to support our own businesses. I also have links to Worth Point, which I use quite often to determine prices of items that I just am not getting a good feel for on Terapeak or Google. Um, I also have links to List Perfectly, which I use for cross-listing to the other platforms that I use. So if you've not used them and you're wanting to be, uh, you're interested in trying them, you know, please do um, click on those links. All right, let's get to it. Like I said, one sell on Mercari, one sell on Poshmark. The thing about Mercari, somebody made a comment in one of my videos that said what they've been doing is they've been cross-listing to Mercari with a price that's a little bit higher than eBay, and then they've been turning on that setting that allows uh, Mercari over time to decrease your price, and they've started to see more sales that way. Robert said he's going to go in and try to change some of my listings on Mercari to include the smart pricing strategy and see if we see any um, increase in sales. Just something to consider. This person said that, you know, they've been doing that. I think others have been saying they've been sending out offers to um, the, not just to the likers, but just in general promote, oh, that's the word, promoting their listings. Mercari takes it, your price down by 5% and she says she's been seeing an increase in sales by using that. So just a couple of new strategies to consider. Um, I also haven't been putting make offer on. I think there's a make offer um, portion of Mercari. So I may start considering that also before I call it quits. You know, I need to do my due diligence to see what else I can do to make the platform work better for me. 
the one and only sale that weekend is this Russ White Bear, which I ended up taking an offer for $6 for this item. And then on Poshmark, I sold these Skechers sandals. It's cold here. It was 49 degrees this morning. And these sandals sold for $17. Now eBay. If you're new to my channel, I don't offer free shipping. So when I say something sold for $11, the buyer also paid shipping. First thing that sold is I picked these up at a at a yard sale for $1. They still had their original plastic around them. These are Paula Deen custard cups and they sold for $11. Pokemon Center Raichu plush from 2016 sold for $35.95. Coffee mugs, starting to sell them on a consistent basis now that I've dropped my prices to um, anything calculated is sold at the um, eBay's discounted rate. This coffee mug sold for $8.96. Next is this Fisher Price Little People Farm Truck with Sonia and the little cow with its calf sold for $10. Skechers Black Men's Motorcycle Boots. Y'all, these were rough. Like, they've been kicking gravel rough all on the front. Um, I just disclosed that in pictures and in my description. They sold very, very quickly for $35.95, and the buyer was thrilled with them and has already left feedback. Barney Dinosaur Plush. This one had lots of discolored spots that didn't come out um, with normal cleaning. So I did list it at a lower price than comps were showing. but And then I did take a best offer of $10 for it. Jimmy. I tend to pick up most things Jimmy. It, it's very beneficial if when you're buying them that you know that they work. But sometimes I pick them up when... I know I, I need to check the batteries. I'm probably 60-40 that things don't work, but I need to do better about bringing a like screwdriver and some batteries with stuff, especially when I'm at the bins um, to make sure stuff works. But this hamster sold for $10. Tupperware. These were the Harvest Gold cereal bowls. Um, it, they did have lots of condition wear. So, and like scrapes from silverware and stuff. So I just disclosed all of that, showed it in pictures, and they sold for $10.49. Kelly Toy Purple Cat Plush. Funny story about this is, I sold this on eBay, right? And two days later, which it's not going to be on here because it was during the next week. Two days later, I sold... I had two of these, as you can see. Well, you can't see now, but I had two of these listed. I sold the second one on Mercari, and it had this person had the same last name and were from the same town um, as this one. And I'm I'm hoping they intentionally bought two of them. Even though I had two listed on eBay, I don't, Mercari is only single items. My fear is this is two different family members buying the same gift for a person, and I might get a return on one of them. I'm not sure, but it was just the, the fact that they were the same last name, different streets, but the same town, um, makes me wonder if I might see a return on one of them. Anyway, this Kelly Toy Purple Cat with the little chevron stripes on it sold for $16.12. Eden Paddington Bear Plush sold for $8.96. I love Paddington Bear, but I'll be honest, it takes a while for them to sell. Stepping Stones Lovey. I pick up most Loveys. Um, this particular one is just a, a elephant sold for best offer of ten dollars i think it was last winter i picked went to a yard sale and it was a whole bunch of um like decorations and stuff i think this person had had one of those like um 
party type centers and they just had tons of decorations but there was an entire tote of um, tablecloths some of them were cloth like this one others were just like the vinyl top with the flannel bottom I got the whole tote for five dollars um, and I've been selling them slowly but surely but I have been selling them um, this particular tablecloth sold for nine dollars Russ Scooby-Doo plush. This sold immediately after listing it. It was the Scooby with the pink collar and the pink emblem on the collar. $18.25. Dandy Caterpillar Pillow Plush. This one was 32 inches. There are others that are even larger that sell really, really well. Um, but they are definitely an issue for shipping. This one sold for $22.45. I'm pretty sure I remember picking this up at the bins on our previous trip to St. Louis. New Wave Hearthware Pro Infrared Oven. These are the trays that go to one of the New Waves. Y'all, this is another one of those examples. I've had this listed for a couple of years, but now that I've lowered the price of the shipping to something that's being seen as more reasonable, this type of stuff is selling for me. These two sold for $8.80. Jimmy Green Witch Candy Bowl. It was missing the nose. So I made a, a, a description note of that. Um, it did talk and it sold right before um, Halloween. I'm sure I don't think it would have made it there in time for Halloween, but it still sold for $16.12. I'm telling you, seasonal stuff sells all year. Princess Soft Toys Tan Rabbit from 2004 sold for $20.17. Fisher Price Pika Blocks and Balls, lot of 20. I tend to pick these up a lot at the Goodwill bins and at yard sales, and then I make these larger lots. These 20 ended up selling for $22. Dandy Browned Dog Hound, 21 inches long, sold for $17. These next two items was from one buyer. I ended up combining them and giving them a discount or a refund on some of the shipping. This is a Christmas Elf Plush doll from TB Trading Company, $12.11. And this was TB Trading Company Christmas White Bear for $12.07. Vintage Pyrex Double Boiler. Now this, I think it only has like three parts. A lot of times I talk about the coffee pots that are the percolators that look very similar to this. Definitely if you find them, I usually pay no more than $5 for them and I can sell each of the parts. Um, but this double boiler, it was heavy and I had pre-packed it so that I knew exactly the dimensions. It sold for $39.00. Um, and again, it was heavy, so I'm very happy that um, it is finally moving to a new home. Matthew C., this is from our own homeschool closet. These were the um, Algebra Integer Block Kit um, that we no longer need, and it sold very quickly within a couple of days for $45 best offer. G.I. Joe Terradrome. These were the lower bay doors. Did have some condition issues, some yellowing. Um, sold the six of them for $45. Bengal Tiger Plush. This is a good example. There was no tag on it, so I could not figure out who the manufacturer is. Google Lens just kept giving me tigers. Um, but it sold probably within two days of listing it. It's just some people can use the correct keywords and are able to find the item that they're looking for. Sometimes it takes a while and then sometimes like this, I got a best offer, like I said, within a day or two of listing for $16, which I accepted. Disney Goofy and Pluto little mini coin purses. This lot sold for $11. Little people 
you know, a lot of times, especially with the Christmas and other holiday items, I tend to list them in either singles or very small lots so that people who have lost a piece um, is able to go in and just replace the items that they need. This Mrs. Claus sold for $6.25. Classic Toy Company. Again, it's not a brand I pick up very much, but if it's cute and it catches my attention, I will pick it up. This was a large 16-inch plush, and it sold for $16.12. This is... Piper Kids White Horse Pillow Plush from 2018, sold for offer of $15. Disney Doc McStuffins Doll, sold for $12.11. Canterbury Bear Plush, holding cute flowers, sold for $10 best offer. This is the top of the... Um, coffee pot that I was talking about a minute ago, the Pyrex Percolator. This is the top of the basket. I It ends up being like the, the pot, the lid, the stem. The stem is the most expensive item that you can sell. Um, and then the glass basket, the bottom of the basket, the top of the basket. Um, I end up probably getting, I wanna say 60 to $70 when I part it out. Just the top of this coffee pot sold for $10. Dandy Fifi Poodle Plush from 1982 sold for $16.12. Oh, and that's it. I wasn't paying attention, y'all. All right, hope you enjoyed a look at some of the things that are selling for me. For me, give you ideas of things that you can be on the lookout for. Um, now it's time to get to work, y'all. Bye. Bye.